I'm Kate, and this is a figure skating tutorial for beginner skaters. This video is for the more advanced beginner skaters, who can do the basics plus a few elements as covered in my starters and beginner one videos. Elements I've grouped in this level will be performed and explained in order to allow you to identify the moves and even try them yourself. Elements I've grouped in this level are chassés, crossovers, a waltz jump, and a one foot spin. We'll begin with the chasse. It can be done on the left foot or the right foot, and I'll show you both. A chasse is really just a stroke, lift, stroke. Or as you progress, it'll be more like a push, lift, push. A helpful tip while doing chassés is to keep your knees slightly bent. A chasse is two things you can already do. A one foot glide, and stroking. To begin, get some speed by stroking. I'll show you my left chasse, then my right. To do a left chasse, stroke forward on your left foot, then put your right foot back down as you lift your left foot. After the left foot is lifted, put it back down with a stroke. So it's left push, lift, push. For a right chasse, it's the same. Just switch the feet. Again, you begin with some speed, and then you do the chasse. So right push, lift, push. Right push, lift, push. Left push, lift, push. I'll now teach you crossovers. These are essential and are very frequently used. Crossovers can be done clockwise or counterclockwise, forwards or backwards. I'll reiterate that it is important and helpful to keep a slight but constant knee bend. Crossovers are easiest learned on a circle, or a curve, and that's how I'll show you. We'll start forwards and counterclockwise. A crossover is just a push and a cross. To start, position your arms over the circle, hugging it, as I'm doing. Stand on the circle and begin with the left foot stroke. You now sweep your right foot across the front and cross it over your left. Next, you simply pick up your left foot and begin again with a push, cross, push, cross. I'll now show you backwards clockwise crossovers. These are the same as forwards crossovers, you're just skating backwards. So stand on the circle with your arms as shown and push out, similar to a backwards pump. You then pull your foot in and across your body to the inside of the circle and then start over, just to push out and in. Out, and as you improve, it will be out and under. Push out, push under. And remember to have a slight knee bend and to keep your arms hugging the circle. Now I'll teach you the waltz jump. This is the first rotating jump you'll learn and takes off forward. Like I've said in a previous video, if you're left-handed, you'll typically spin and jump clockwise, and if you're right-handed, you'll typically spin and jump counterclockwise. I'll be showing counterclockwise. You can begin forwards like this, or a more advanced way, from backwards crossovers. If you start forwards, you just stroke a bit to have some speed, and then you can perform the jump. You stand on your left leg and jump to backwards, landing on your right. So push off the left foot into the air, turning left, and land on your right with a bent knee and exit your jump as shown with arms out and left foot behind you. Your arms in a waltz jump and all jumps you'll learn if you continue skating are important. In this jump, as you take off, your arms come forward and meet in front of you like you're holding a beach ball. Then as you land, your arms come out. I'll also show from crossovers for those who are interested. So, on a curve, you do backwards counterclockwise crossovers. You then step forwards to the outside of your circle on your left foot and proceed with the jump, same as before. And ta-da, your first real jump. The last move I'll show you is a one foot spin. At a beginner level, you may wish to start for like this. Forwards and from a pivot. But I'm going to demonstrate from clockwise backward crossovers. Begin with a few crossovers, then on your last push under, hold it longer and extend your leg further as you wind your arms to the right. 
Then release your speed and energy as you step onto your left foot and you spin. Your arms should unwind and come together in front of you and your right foot should be bent beside your left foot. Once you've completed the spin, exit it by stepping on your right foot backwards with your left leg behind. After you can do a one foot spin, you can progress to a scratch spin. This is a one foot spin in which your right foot is lifted and placed over your left foot across the ankles. It's left there until you exit the spin. So to talk you through this one, it's crossovers, hold under, wind the arms, and step to the left foot while spinning and bringing your arms in. Also bring your right foot on top of your left. Once you've made some revolutions, exit your spin. Well, those are all the beginner two moves I have. Thanks for watching, and I hope this video helped you.